guys, Word Frey here, and I just felt like playing this game, so we're gonna play this game, and I have no idea why I want to play this game, but I just saw it on Big Fish, and I was like, for some reason, I wanted to play it, so I know nothing about it, but it looks like a short, neat little game, maybe, so we will totally try it. The Fog. It's called The Fog. Driving in the middle of the road. Do that. Baby? <laughs> okay, sorry. This is bad. Ooh, blood. <gasps> Where's our child? Hello. Oops. Um, oh, select difficulty mode. Hello. Let's go with novice. And I... Why do I have deja vu when I see all this? I have no idea. But okay. Uh, sure, let's learn how to play. Wait, maybe there's been a beta of this on some channel? I don't know. When the cursor changes to a large arrow, click to travel in that direction. When the cursor changes to a magnifying glass, click to take a closer look at the item over which you have placed it. <laughs> I just need to have little boxes too, like, here's the hitbox, okay? Yeah, I can see the donut hitbox is way down here. <laughs> when the cursor changes to a hand, you can either pick up or interact with the object over which you have placed it. Take the... Yui donut. The objects you will need to use to solve puzzles, unlock doors, and otherwise progress in the game are automatically added to your inventory. And I have a feeling that the music might be a little loud. I'm gonna turn it down, even if it's not. Maybe it's just my, on my end. Anyhow, here's my here's our inventory, and we'll read. We'll totally read. My name is Susan Wilde. I have decided to record in this journal my thoughts about the strange things that took place around me. It all start, started when my daughter, Rachel, and I decided to take a road trip in my car. We loved eating at Roadside Cafe. But, <clears throat> mm, exactly. Mm? Mm hmm. Roadside cafes, but one of them, I felt as though someone was watching us. I shrugged it off, but when we got back on the road, we crashed and I was knocked out. When I come to, Rachel was gone. Fortunately, I saw footprints leading to an old abandoned house. Did someone kidnap her? I have to find her as soon as possible. Oh, I see a map up here. As I walked toward the mansion, I could barely see the footprints that were leading me there. I had never seen thought fog that thick. When I arrived at my destination, what I saw stunned me. It was as though I had stumbled upon a haunted junkyard. There was a broken down car, a dilapidated house, a tree with a hole that resembled a misshapen face, and disembodied voices. Voices that never stopped whispering. <gasps> Ginormous map! Okay, so maybe this game isn't that small, I don't know. <laughs> Characters! No characters? Ah, uh, no characters for us. Maybe I'm a little loud now. Okay, whatever. I'll fix the audio afterwards. Um, you guys can tell me uh, too, you know, if it's good or not. Uh, yes, I see the inventory. Oh, click anywhere to. Okay, let's go back and check out what we missed over here. 
Why did we leave the bunny? Here's a bunny rabbit. It's kind of, you know. Ooh, here's the hint button, I'm presuming. It's cool. It's a bone! Oh, <gasps> Did you see that? Did you see that when I hovered over it? It actually set the name? Wow, there's like... Almost no games do that. I mean, they do in the inventory, but not in the world. That's kind of cool, actually. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, I need the handle! Alright, fine. Let's be logical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is starting to look like a junkyard, alright? What is this? A lock made out of an alligator skull. Are you sure about that? I can see from this angle. Could you- Can I get a top view to see if it's a crocodile or an alligator? Because alligators have U-shaped snouts, and only their upper jaw teeth are visible. And crocodiles have um, V-shaped snouts, and both upper and lower te jaw teeth are visible when they um, shut their mouths, or you know. And there's other things. Oh, hello. There are other things that are different between alligators and crocodiles too. I googled that because of Mr. Canadian. He totally tricked me. When the cursor changes to an arrow with a gear attached to it, like this. You can use a certain object from your inventory on the area over which you have pla placed the cursor. Hello, Mr. Raven. I, I'm sorry, I meant Mr. Crow. Crow, oops, don't be offended. Well, let me open the mailbox. I need to distract it somehow. Um, donut? Yeah, take that donut. Bye. Gross. That annoying bird finally flew away. Now I can open the mailbox. Why would I want to do that? To Sergeant Greg Stevens, MD. Military Command is shutting down Operation Fog. Okay. You and your family are here by order to travel to Sector F on Wednesday, October 12th to be evacuated. Major James Parker, October 9th, 1996. Ooh, here's a key. Uh, okay. Now I have the key to the house. <laughs> Why did the military evacuate the... Tunnels, I guess. It was too quick. I didn't have time to see. Oh, hello. Dried glue is stuck to the headlight. I need to dissolve it. With my bone. Nope. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> that was that was not scary, but I was like, wait, what was that? Ooh, it's almost like opening doors. <laughs> okay. I found an old letter in a mailbox outside the house. It contained the first clues about what happened to the house and its inhabitants. A military doctor and his family used to live there. One day, the military evacuated everyone. But why? And what was Operation Fog? Actions available. Okay, so we can't fast travel, but at least we have a map that tells us. I don't know really where we are. We're like between the map places. <laughs> oh, stop. Okay, stop doing that for real. Stop. Oh, do you see this? There's so much happening here when you mouse over things. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll stop playing with that. Oh, half of a painting. He. Oh, <gasps> wait. No. Was it the- no. <laughs> oh, hello. There's something in the dog's mouth. What might let him go of it? What might make- Yeah. Cause you know, I'm totally reading while I'm talking. What might make him let go of it? You are dead. Just, just so you know, you are dead. So, a, a tip would be to stop moving, because that's usually how dead things behave, okay? Ah, oh, one of three rungs. <gasps> they do this too! It's kind of like what, what Apex does, that um, when you have a collection of things, you get like a picture of it, but you only get silhouettes of the things you don't have, and then as you collect more and more things, 
It like fills fills in or whatever you say in English. That's totally not correct English grammar, but anyhow. Someone buried something here. There. I'd like to see what it is. Because I'm looking for my daughter, so I'm just gonna check what the dead dog buried. Hello, I don't think we can do this. Wild stab of the dark. We need more birds. We could see what she says, though. Hello. When I find the missing piece of lock, I should be able to open the cage. I think you are right. Maybe someone did play a beta of this game, because I'm, I'm kind of recognizing things, but not. Hmm. Should we get in the creep into the creepy house? Why not? I mean, we are looking for our daughter, so, you know. Main hall. Hello. To open the gate, I need to find the keypad. So I can't actually... <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> Stop doing that game! <laughs> don't do that! Ooh, hello! You are a gramophone handle. I totally don't need you yet. Okay, that's a bit loud. Let's drag that in-game music down. Would you st stop? Stop. Stop. Someone covered the door to the living room with plastic. I need to remove it. Presumably not with my bare hands. Um, here's a gramophone where I need the handle. And presumably I will need a record too. Yes, I do. Oh, here's the family. 1979, 1982. Wait. Oh, she's... The daughter's getting sick. Look at that. It's almost Christmas. 12-12. What a depressing photo. It looks like Dr. Stevens took it... Took it a few months after the last one, and his daughter's health had declined even more. Oh, maybe we should... Oh! Okay. Sorry, Mr. Rope. I totally did not mean to... This must be Dr. Stevens and his family. They look happy. Daddy, Mommy, and me moving to our new home. Um, oh my goodness. Is this American date? So, is it 6th of March or 3rd of June? Because to me it says 3rd of June. But, if it's American, then it says 6th of March. Whatever, it's 1976. No, it's not. It's 79. Oh my goodness. 1979. The doctor's daughter appears to be older in this photo, 1982. Poor thing, she's clearly sick. Eliza and Sarah. And then we have the last one, she's even more sick. That is very sad. According to photos I found in the main hall of the house, the doctor and his wife had a daughter who became ill. The doctor's wife was a physician, too, so they both tried to nurse her back to health. Their daughter reminds me of Rachel. I had a hard time looking at the last photo. As the girl had grown very sick by the time her parents took it. Would you stop with all this creepy sounds, Gabe? Of course you won't, because this is obviously a creepy game, but like, stop creeping me out, please. Bedroom. Oh, I, I, I don't know why I thought the stairs would collapse on us, but it didn't, so. Wait, I saw a hand here. I totally saw a hand cursor here. There you- there- what? Nope. What? There. Ha! <laughs> Look! See, now we have two rungs, and one's grade, so that's what we have left. Totally saw you, hand cursor! Oh. Oh, hello! When you see butterflies, click on them to enter a hypnotic scene. Oh, okay, I thought it was had something to do with this. Butterflies will not appear if the show hints option is off. Okay. Collect every hidden object on the list. To find objects with orange lettering, you need to perform a specific action. To assemble the painting, place the Mona Lisa canvas in the frame. First click on the canvas to pick it up, then click on the frame to assemble the painting. Alrighty! Whee! Oh! I got painting and I don't have to click it! Oh, thank you for clicking orange things for me and I just realized we need to find three phones and I'm seeing this hamburger here and I'm not very amused by it. Hello. Um, okay, so there's a phone and 
supposed to be two more phones. There's a phone. And... I gotta say, I'm... Something about this game, I, I am enjoying it. Already, or what, whatever you want to call it. It's cool. The sound effects are really good. There's the ginormous phone, by the way. Um, I think they're totally creepy. And the way it gets creepier when there's no voiceovers, because it's only, only this creepiness, right? And and me talking to myself, or rather to you guys, but uh, to myself too. Where is this dry sponge? Did I see mitten? Oh, I saw Alvin mitt. Okay. Mittens make me think of Marvin's Mittens! Aw, oh, that's such an adorable game. Marvin's adorable. Where's the sponge? You? Oh, you were a sponge. Okay. I gotta say, I enjoyed the synodic scene. Uh, I think it's... I think it is cool and well done. There's the... Another ginormous thing? <laughs> ha! Monsieur Réveillier? Réveillier? I think that's... Alarm clock in French. Yes, I found you anyhow. Light bulb. Oh, did you see how it got a little darker? Not much, but still. Forceps. Is that you? Yes, it is. Um. So I should I should know what a hat looks like. I'd like to think that I know what a hat looks like. <laughs> uh, painting and tassel. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, that was like two things? That was like two paintings? <laughs> Alright, fine. I don't want to use hint. I want to find a hat on my own because I should be able to find a hat. Ribbon. Or bow was what I tried to say, but ribbon works too. Okay, so where's this hat? Nope. Ah, you were a hat. Sneaky. <gasps> we just got three items for our inventory? Okay, I totally watched someone play this beta or something. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I'd like this game. Oh, hello. The case is locked. We need some special thingy for this. Oh, this is also so such a cool feature. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Did I say that? Did I, did I mention that? That I like the game? It's awesome. I'm so glad that my brain just went, Hey, that looks fun! Record it. Um, why would you screw the jar like this? And I don't have anything to ask. Oh, wait, when did I- Oh, well, that's the rope I picked up. Okay. Okay, what did we get? Painting, dry sponge, oven mitt, record. Okay, we can totally do lots of things now. I can't see a thing over there. I should light the candles on the chest of drawers. Oh, so I can't see the battery over here? Really? That's what you wanna go with? Okay. Fine, I'll play along. Oh, okay. Sure, I'll zoom in first. Well, this is kinda creepy. Canvas is covered with paint. I could use solvent to remove it. We'll be back for that. We'll put the record over here. That's kind of creepy in this context, actually. We have a blackbird and a sponge. <laughs> Stop doing that. Yes, okay, that, wow, the house was so creepy. <clears throat> creepy sounds. There we go, we need another one. All right, map. Where are you? Oh, the bunny is moving. Oh, here we have Sarah Stevens characters. Now we have characters. Okay. Gregory Stevens, 1955 to unknown. Doctor and surgeon in the military. Wife, Sarah Stevens. Daughter, Eliza. In 1979, he and his family moved onto the secret military base codenamed Silence 117. Took part in Operation Fog. Eliza, 1978 to unknown. Father, Gregory Stevens. Mother, Sarah Stevens. Okay, she looks a lot older in this picture. Like, what happened? And we have Sarah Stevens, 1957 to unknown. Doctor. Husband, Gregory Stevens. Daughter, Eliza. 
1979, she and her family moved onto the secret military base codenamed Silence 117. Worked at Ramble Hospital. So we can do something way back here. We'll go stop doing that. Hmm. Okay, I guess I only want to check this letter again. No? Okay, I cannot click the letter again. Oh, I can too. Okay, good. I don't have a handle for that. Oh, hello. Um, balloon and tree. Oh. Oh. And this is totally a code for the, um, for the out here. I did not get the code. Alright, fine. We can do the bird puzzle. To get the, I don't know, solvent or whatever it is. You can skip a mini game once the skip bar is full. Alright, but I don't want to do that. To solve this puzzle, click on the tiles until only white birds are showing. Click on a tile. Clicking on a tile flips one or more tiles. Yep. This is totally flipping logical. Okay. What if I do this? I meant to. Uh... Really? You're, you're just. <laughs> okay, it's not logical. It's just flipping whatever it wants to flip. Oh, I see. Oh, cool. Okay, we did it. <laughs> okay, what are you? I forgot to check. You are totally solvent. Uh, creepy house. Hello. Whatever's in here. That is five. Wait, do I have to write this down myself? Looks like part of a code. Um, I don't know, should I write that down myself? I hope I won't have to. Will the game really make me do that? I don't know. We should be able to do something over here. Oh yeah, solvent on the glue here, right? Yes. Wow, it was like green acid solvent or something. Oh my goodness. Sun shape key. See, they do it again. So you, you, you can see how many more parts you, you need. But it only fills in with colors the parts you have. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay, so I'm already pretty in love with this game. It, it feels like it's going to be a neat, sweet, little creepy game. And it's going to be awesome playing it. So we're going to... No, we're not. Because this menu doesn't like me. So... Um, we're gonna take a break. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you are enjoying the game too. I know that some people don't like the visuals of this game, or I saw Big Fish, but, like, to me, like, a game isn't only as visuals, and I don't see any problem with it, and it is so many super cool game mechanics and details that is a delight to play, so. Um, hope you're enjoying the game too, and I will see you all later.